Hey Vault Hunters! Recently Mitsu and I had a chance to take Borderlands 3 for a spin using the new and improved Mayhem 2.0 modifiers. In this video, you'll get a more in-depth look at this awesome new feature and get to see our reactions to it. Let's take a look! So I had the pleasure of playing around just a little bit with it uh, last night, just to, to kind of like poke my head around and, and, and get to know like the different aspects of it. The cool thing about this is it's now, uh, you don't have to go to Sanctuary, like we're, we're starting on Sanctuary, of course, but yes. you don't actually have to go to Sanctuary to change your mayhem mode, which is so nice. How many times have you wanted to change it? You had to leave where you were, backtrack, go back to Sanctuary, come all the way back just to change the mayhem mode. So now you don't have to do it anymore. It is in your uh, like inventory regular menu, so you can change it anywhere, anytime, yes. um, which is so nice. Try going up to Mayhem Six, just just as a demonstration. Show like just to show everybody exactly what happens when you go up in a Mayhem level. So Giga Mind is is currently like probably hanging out, and that's a, a pretty easy kill we can use to demonstrate. Sure. Yeah. Let me just grab ammo real quick before we head on down. Although I guess I could do it down there too. So whatever. You can start if you want. That's a good idea. Yeah. Ammo sounds like a good plan. <laughs> Especially because there is. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, did they what? up the SDUs or do I get rolled back? Uh... Oh, oh, hold on. Wait, no, wait. That means they are upping the SDUs with this new patch. Oh. Look at that. Because backpack SDU you can That's buy. You can buy bank SDUs. Sniper rifle SDU goes up and heavy SDU. Wow, those two are big too. Sniper and heavy SDUs going up. That's More a good move. Pocket. This is awesome. You want to okay. head down to uh, the, the brain in a jar? Yes. Right, yes, do I do. Let's see what the modifiers actually are. You the mayhem do, tab. Go to the mayhem tab. And if you look over on the okay. right side of the screen, now you will see the stats of each enemy, XP gains, uh, iridium and money gains, obviously, and then the loot percentage increase chance all at the top of the screen. What you'll see below that are the modifiers. You have, we're playing on Mayhem 6. Mayhem 6 has one easy, two medium, and one hard modifier. So for easy, you can see Speed Demon right there. Who needs cars when you've got kills? After killing an enemy, movement speed is increased by 50% for 10 seconds, and this effect stacks for up to three times. That's great for somebody like Zane, and I think Amara benefits from move speed as well, right? Yes, absolutely. That's, that's a huge damage buff. Easy modifiers yeah. tend to benefit the self, tend to benefit you, the player. When you get okay. into medium and hard, that's where it starts getting a little bit more sticky. You have medium <laughs> acid rain, which enemies may be infused with corrosive and they're immune to corrosive damage and they release a Nova when they're killed. That is corrosive. Uh, and then Healy Avenger. Fun times. Yeah. Enemies have a chance upon death to release a power up that heals the first enemy it touches or drop health or shield boosters if they're destroyed. So when you're looking around in like mobbing, you might see this thing on the ground that you might want to destroy or, or pick up before the enemies do so that way they don't receive the benefits of this and that's a that's a much better system than it was on the op levels where everybody in uh what was it everybody in ultimate vault hunter and everybody in all the op levels had passive health regen and that sucked Ooh, that sucked yeah. a lot that was one of the major reasons everything yeah. was just a wall in uh ultimate vault hunter mode uh, and then you have, you can see boundary issues at the bottom there. That's a hard modifier. That is, at close range, enemies will attach a damaging elemental beam to you. Like a secondhand goldfish. It's uh, best not to get too attached. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yes. Oh, God. And then you can see at the top, 3,000% for healed shield, uh, health shields and modifier, or, uh, armor modifiers. So this is Mayhem 6 Gigamind. There he is right there. Oh my god. You can see it's still manageable though. Yeah, it's not that bad. Oh my god. Whoa. Hold on. Okay. I'm gonna be able to get my fight for your life is really, really, really long. I'll probably kill him before I actually die. Oh, okay. Then I'm. <laughs> if, if you get below half, then I'll start sweating a little bit. But even then, it'll, yeah. yeah, I'm watching you. We're, we're probably okay. There you go. Yeah. You're I use fine. it because I do, uh, I think it's 25% more damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then my accuracy and everything goes up too. So it's just, it's kind of, I use it all the time. I go down and then kill things quicker. 
Um, okay. Hey, legendaries. So one of the things to point out over here, I don't remember what the initial values for Ruby's Wrath is, but I'm pretty sure that 7,222 times 7 is much higher. I want to say it was about 6,000 somewhere, maybe like 6,6, six, 6,3, six, six, somewhere in that area was max damage in the previous versions. Now we're looking at 7-2, which is a noticeable increase, which is what's going to happen going forward. Every time you move up in Mayhem rank, you're going to get a better roll on your damage for the weapons. So that's what's going to incentivize you going from Mayhem 1 to 2, 3, 4, all the way up to 10. At this point, we decided to try something a little more challenging than Gigamind. There's a modifier that I saw while I was rolling modifiers that diminishes the effectiveness of status chance effects by like 90%. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's bad. That one's really, Ow. really, 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 really bad. Oh my God. Also, <laughs> you have a giant head. <laughs> <laughs> I love the head so much. They're amazing. <laughs> They're amazing. Okay. All right, Mayhem Mode, Molly 1 Takedown. We're on level six, which is the new level that drops new items and weapons. Uh, previous items from Mayhem 4 have dropped down to Mayhem 3 to make them a little bit more accessible to people that may not have had a chance to get them in the past. Um, Mayhem 4 difficulty seems to be similar to the old Mayhem 4 difficulty. Mayhem 6 is definitely a step beyond. Now, all of these have uh, a few different modifiers of, of varying difficulty. An easy one that happens uh, relatively often and is very hilarious is Galaxy Brain. Enemy head size is increased by plus 100%. You know what that means. Easier crits. <laughs> Giant head Amara. Literally the funniest thing I've seen. <laughs> Giant head Mitsu Zane. <laughs> <laughs> and not just Giant head Zane. Giant head clone. Yeah, giant head clone. <laughs> oh my God, it's so good. It's so good. It's actually incredible. But okay, totally radical. Enemies may be infused with radiation. Infused enemies are immune to radiation damage and release a radiation nova when killed. I'm using a radiation energy too. Um, floor is lava. Motion is lotion. While in combat, standing still will cause an incendiary damaging pool to form underneath you. Fun times. You really have to move a lot. Uh, it seems like to combat this, basically, you know, just strafe aiming is not going to be enough. You have to jump or move consistently a lot, a lot, a lot. If you stand still for a second, you're going to burn. Uh, hard boundary issues. At close range, enemies will attach a damaging elemental beam to you like a secondhand goldfish. It's better to not get too attached. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have a very hard time. <laughs> My build is not really accommodating of this madness. There we go. Oh, there's one of the radiation ones. Oh, I see it now. Okay, I get it. I get it. Some of the ones that are immune are the ones with the, um, they have like circle swirlies around them that just literally say immune the whole time. Uh, so those are the ones that you can just avoid if you're going to be doing radiation damage and then like light them up later or have somebody who's a little bit more specialized to take care of them instead. Okay. Well, these war dogs, these war dogs can, uh, they can, uh, get bent. Is yeah. probably the nicest way to go about saying that. Oh that was my really god! Just now, <laughs> those dogs oh, no, are body. definitely the bane of my existence. Oh, immune! Great. Hold on. That's right. I've got a lob for that. Oh wow, my anarchy is just useless during this, isn't it? Yeah, Not it's really bad. So my anarchy is useless. My lobs require me to get really close to them. So, <laughs> yeah, so you, you really have to like, you have to wager whether or not going in there is going to net you the kill fast enough for you to basically get out before you get irradiated because they're yeah. exploding with radiation too. Yep. There's that guy. Ow. Yeah. I feel like I need different guns. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean that, but that's that's the fun of this. Like, it's forcing you to think outside of your comfort zones absolutely. and be like, "All right, there are some new guns out there that maybe I need to make friends with." Yeah. Um, the Krakatoa still seems very strong. I'm actually going to pull that outside in a second to illustrate. I mean, I think it super depends on the modifiers too. Like, if if we didn't have that 
that uh, super hard modifier of the energy beams connecting you when you're close to them. Yeah. Um, it would be fine, but that is definitely hurting me. I, I agree 100%. Oh, thank God there's no modifier right now. Because there is another modifier. I don't know if you uh, read it. There's one where if you're in fight for life, you go down and die. Yes. Oh, my God. That one is absolute murder. You literally have no fight for your life, which I'm currently using. <laughs> oh, God. And I have the wrong shield on. I forgot that I have the wrong shield on. You should be good. Cracking dud. Yeah. 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 Thank God they made that change in this game, too, where you can just tag something when it's dying and you just get up instead of having to yeah. uh, get res even afterwards, too. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, God. I might die, too. No! I don't want to reroll these. Jeez. Hold on. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> oh, but you, you have to sit out now, don't you? I do. You don't come back until after the Valkyries, do you? Yeah, so... Dang. Mm. Molly and Takedown is going to be really rough. You have to come in super prepared. Super, super prepared for the modifiers that you're facing because the, the payment for not being properly prepared is steep. Yes. Jeez. Luckily, re-rolling re is quite easy. Very, very, very easy. All you have to do is hit one key and it re-rolls your modifiers for you until you find a set that you like and then you hit apply. So hmm. you'll only have a loading screen once you hit apply and it will reload you back back to the last spawn point that you were next to, which is right where we're standing. Um, so re-roll as many times as you want until you get modifiers you're happy with and then you'll have one load screen, which is a really, really nice, elegant way for them to do this. I really like it. So we re-rolled and then Mitsu took pity on me. This is a good gun that you may be very familiar with. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you're very welcome. That's awesome. Man, this is so much better. Yeah, but you know what? That's a great point to illustrate how important it is to take these mayhem levels like one at a time or two at a time. Yeah. Because you were using weapons that might have been, if we say mayhem four, that were mayhem four, we're on mayhem six and your weapons were struggling. The struggle continued, but we had an absolute blast with it and can't wait to enjoy all that mayhem 2.0 has to offer with you all. Be sure to tell us what you think during the next Bordercast episode. We film live every Thursday at 4 p.m. Eastern, and you can join the chat on the official Borderlands Twitch. Until then, we'll see you in the next video.